Well, hello, I'm Nathan Judah. I'm here with Wolverhampton Wonders reporter. It is Mr. Timothy Spears. Tim, we've been together for about three and a half years now, not, not physically, um, um, emotionally. Not too many places better than this, I don't think. Yeah, we haven't actually painted this on, we should, we should say. No, no green We're, screen. No green screen. This is this is where we are. This is the rooftop bar at Woolsey's Hotel. Yeah, terrible um, place. There are so many amazing views around the city, but yeah, this is this is up there. It's stunning. It is. It's unbelievable. And, and you know, I know some people back at home are thinking like, oh, they see the fashion show last night, and you know, they're seeing the razzmatazz, and they just want football. But you've got to appreciate it. You've got you've got to go with it, don't you? You're just part of. If you're going to go global, you need to do these things. Yeah, this is what they're here for. It's it's all going very well so far, and, and Fosin are very proud to be showing Wolves off. And there's a host of things going on throughout the week, and which will really have raised the club's profile mm -hmm. over here, which means increased exposure, which ultimately means more money, which is yeah. what it's all about. Of course it is. And look, nothing more bizarre and incredible and surreal as the fashion show last night. I mean, that was something else. We've obviously you know tweeted a lot of videos last night. Uh, what was your thought about it and, and the gear that was on show? Are you asking for my analysis on analysis the fashion show? Analysis of, of the 30 models um, showing off some incredible Wolves merchandise. Well, it was a good first half, you know, I think every, everybody kind of knew their roles and yeah. it worked really, really well. Played well. Um, no, it was, um, it was it was something else. It was totally surreal, as, mm. as was the whole day yesterday with the mega store opening. And, um, they did it really, really well. You, you kind of hear the words Wolves fashion show. Uh, yeah. And you might expect, you know, Jeff from Whitmarines in the 1974 League Cup final shirt or something like that. Uh, but yeah, it, like it. it wasn't tacky at no, all. No, no. It was, um, there was a lot of VIPs there, a lot of Chinese celebrities mm -hmm. there. And Some it was, you, it, YouTube stars, and not just me. <laughs> it was done incredibly well with, with, with the music, the staging, the lighting, the location. And yeah, the, the fashion itself, I mm. gather, is, is high-end Chinese fashion. Yes, it is, absolutely. Um, and uh, they'll, be, they'll be selling those lines in the, in the shop, in the megastore. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Jeff Shee's said to me before, a few weeks ago in an interview, that um, he's kind of hoping that, that the fashion side of things becomes a massive part of Wolves' income. Yeah. So we can all have a bit of a laugh and a joke about it, because, you know, we don't really understand it or relate to it. But people here, but for people here, yeah. you know, this, um, this, this, this could be something that catches on and you never know, but, but fair play to them for trying. And the same with the mega store, really, like, like we're saying, so it's quite a small mega store at the moment in mm -hmm. the new shopping centre, but that could really take off. Of course so it could, yeah. Fair play to what they're trying. They're, they're trying to do things differently and mm -hmm. that's, the, that's the model that's worked from so far. So yeah. good luck to them. Absolutely. Uh, going, going on to today and today's event. So been to, been to training today, hot muggy training got put back. They did a double session yesterday, but they're still working hard. Facilities are pretty good and, and, and looked on by some, both some VIPs. Yeah. So, um, Normally during pre-season, Austria, Switzerland, Ireland and France, the, the, the four I've been on, uh, it's always been double sessions always. It's mm. all about fitness and as much ball work as you can, but won't be the won't be the case this week. They'll try and do as much training as they can. They did do two sessions yesterday, just the one today. Training mm. training cancelled this morning to allow kind of extra recovery time because it's it's hot, it's humid. Connor Cody said to me, you know, you, you, you're sprinting and you, and you struggle to catch your breath back, you yeah. know, it's that humid. It has been a little bit cooler today with a bit of rain, which I think the players appreciate uh, for an afternoon session today um, over by the Shanghai City or Shanghai somebody sports stadium I think the Shanghai SIPG yeah. uh, play there very big stadium so just in the shadow of that a little training pitch very well. big stadium you can remember uh, well I don't know the name of it uh, which, is, which is where they were um, yeah decent facilities mm. quite a good session Lots of ball work as you'd expect, as you'd expect. Some nice little free kick routines as well, Ooh, yeah. and a bit of a training match, uh, of which I won't reveal who was on what side, because uh, it probably shows what what the lines going to be for tomorrow. So, um, and yeah, there was some VIPs there as well, um, Foson slash Chinese Wolves fans, VIPs yes. who paid to be there. A lot of broadcast media as well, and the players did a bit of a signing session at the end. Mm. Uh, Nuno did a bit at the start as well. Uh, before the session started, he went over, everyone started screaming, and he signed loads of um took loads of selfies happy to meet everybody and he's yeah. he's embracing this trip as well you yeah. know he knows how important he, this is to Fosun and what a figurehead he is for mm. this club uh Tsingtao uh beer festival tonight with some of the fans in bully but you know look 
all the razzmatazz, glitz, glamour, amazing. We want football, and we're going to get we're going to get our first first look at football tomorrow in the yeah. first game of the season, pre-season. It's Wolves against Newcastle, and as you know, as, as, as small as the squad is, they've still got the same eleven that, that pretty much finished seventh in the Premier League next last season. Yeah, almost. Yeah, it's only Jimenez and Doherty who, who aren't here out, out of that group. Um, Traore looks like he's going to potentially be right wing back until Doherty's um, fit again. Mm. And then the, the issues really comes up front with that Caballero, Costa and Jimenez, you know, who starts up from with Jota. So we'll, we'll see what happens tomorrow. But yes, the players are itching to play. You know, the, yes, it's very exciting for them being here. Most of them haven't been to China before, but they just want to play mm -hmm. and they want to build up. These players have got a huge game in a week's time. Yeah. You know, yes, against limited opposition, but in terms of stature, Massive game, Wolves mm. in the Europa League, it's huge. Mm. That's only a, only a, only eight days away from the friendly they play tomorrow, so it's a big game. There's not much preparation time to go um, before they really get going. So um, against Newcastle, we'll see what the crowd's like tomorrow. Hopefully, it'll be a good game. Hopefully, the weather's not too hot and humid because mm. that could really slow it down. But whatever, a game on the turf against proper position, proper friendly. Can't wait. Yeah, looking forward to it. It's Wolves against Newcastle in Nanjing tomorrow. For all the latest Wolves news, make sure you log on to expressandstar.com.